Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Ray. There is a story coming out of Burkina Faso. An African-American man was shot and killed in Burkina Faso. I'm going to read for you a report. It was called a Jerry Cole Lemont. So according to the U.S. State Department, an American citizen was killed in Ogadugu capital in Burkina Faso. Uh, the department said it was not aware that this person had had any affiliation with the U.S. government, but declined to give more information in respect of privacy for the individual and the family. Uh, this man was shot outside Babasai military camp on the outskirts of Ogadugu, which is the capital city of Burkina Faso, and he was shot for trespassing and ignoring a warning shot by soldiers to stop advancing towards them. So he was advancing towards a military base of the soldiers. They told him to stop advancing. They warned him that they were going to shoot him, but he kept on coming towards them and they just shot him. So he died from gunshot wounds. He was taken to a morgue at Yalgado or Deragoa University Hospital. Uh, this is in Burkina Faso as well. So this shooting happened a day before the voters in Burkina Faso were going to vote, you know, for a presidential election. And of course, uh, there's some attacks going on in Burkina Faso linked to Al-Qaeda and all that. So managed to get some more information about this gentleman from a YouTube channel called a Trap Flix TV. There is a brother called Jetty who also stays in Burkina Faso. He is one of the returnees. So Jetty spoke to the family of this deceased man who is called a Jerry Cole Lemont. And they said that he had a mental disorder called a schizophrenic bipolar so he was sick and jetty was not aware or the people around him were not aware that he had this mental condition and he never spoke about it so because of this mental condition that's why he kept on advancing you know towards the military people even when they told him not to advance so he was not like a terrorist or a rebel or anything he was just sick you know and maybe he wasn't taking his medicine so according to this uh, Trapflix TV channel, they say that uh, he always assumed because of his mental health that people were chasing him or people were watching him. That's what he always assumed. And he always felt like maybe there are cameras all over trying to watch him. So unfortunately, it was just so sad. He had come to Burkina Faso in September. So he'd just been there for about three months. You know, he had bought a piece of land. He was trying to settle in Africa and just, you know, be in Africa and be a free man and be happy, you know. So it's really sad. If you want to know more details, you can go and check out uh, this Trapflix TV YouTube channel. Uh, there are so many videos that the Jetty has done talking about, you know, how he was in Burkina Faso, how he arrived, what he was doing, what he was up to, and all that. Uh, the family are trying to bring his body back to the U.S., you know, for burial and, and just to get some closure. But uh, it's quite a sad story. And of course, I wish him a very good rest. May his soul rest in eternal peace. And uh, share your thoughts in the comment section and let us know what you think. And see you on the next story. Bye.